for another tutorial. Today is a double hoop tutorial. So grab your two hoops because we are learning the butterfly jump. So a prerequisite to the butterfly jump is being able to do the butterfly. And a quick small demonstration of how to do the butterfly if you don't know is to have one of your hoops up on your forearm uh, this is my elbow, you can't really see it because I'm wearing a sweater. But So it's on your forearm and you're going to spin it to your left. And you're just kind of bouncing your arm just a little bit to keep it going. And the one in your hand, it is your palm is facing to the left and you're just going to drop it so it falls on your back of your hand and it's going to be spinning the other way. On the palm of your hand and the back of your hand. So you could just bounce your arm and kind of maybe like pulsate your hand a little bit down and up just to keep it in line with each other because the illusion of it is so that they're going down and up at the same time. So to get the hang of the butterfly jump, we are going to use just one hoop for now. So let your other one just hang out elsewhere. And we're going to have this hoop be the one that is on your hand. So this one that's laying over there on the ground would be on your forearm spinning to the left and this one in your hand is spinning to the right. Now what you're doing with the butterfly jump is when it is on the upswing you are essentially removing your hand and then catching it again once it falls. So practice when it is on the upswing to let go and then to re-grasp it on your hand and keep it spinning in one fluid motion. A couple things that really helped me when I was learning this trick was one is to really slow it down and practice that upswing, remove, and catch. But also when you're removing your hand or letting go of the hoop to travel up in the air, kind of um, flip your hand so that your palm would be facing the sky. It kind of makes sure that the hoop travels straight up instead of like into your other hoop that's on your forearm or away from you because if you lose balance and you make a sudden movement to catch that hoop, the one on your forearm is likely to shoot in that direction as well and then when you catch it, the butterfly won't be smooth anymore and it'll, the hoops will probably run into each other. So when you're trying to do it with both hoops, what might help in the beginning is, remember how I said that the back hoop will be on your forearm? Well, you might want to try to have it like behind your elbow, even on your bicep, because it gives your front hoop a little bit more room to mess up. Like if your toss is a little off, if it's too front, too forward or too behind you, it kind of, that extra space between the hoops gives it a little bit more wiggle room for errors. Another thing you might see me doing in the slow mos later is, for whatever reason, sometimes I think that it's, it's easier to release it with just a finger. <laughs> so it's kind of like when you're doing like the three beat weave and you're spinning it on your thumb. Um, I don't know, my, fin my hand just likes to maybe release it with a finger. So, but I'm still like flipping my hand up when I release it with my finger most of the time. So, I mean, you can try that too if you're having trouble. <laughs> so now I am going to do some slow-mos and kind of let you see my, what my hands are doing and maybe it'll help you, help you see it a little bit better.
watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. I appreciate your support and happy hooping.